Welcome back to Butler's Inventor Playground. Today we're going to take a look at how to create our assembly for the platforms. That's the main platform with the main poles and the tri-platform with the long pole and the short poles. A couple of things we're going to be taking a look at today. A few of them are new for us, but quite a few are already things that you know how to do. We're going to do insert command and aligned, insert and opposed, and a new thing for us is an angle, a directed angle constraint we're going to place on the platforms. Let's get started. We're going to go up to Orange File, down to New. And we are going to select Standard IAM, this one right here. And click Create. While we're waiting for this to load up, Please make sure that you have your packet opened up for the platform assembly to reference. I'll also be referencing it during our drawing, but you should have it open as well and Inventor on your computers. We're going to go up to our ribbon bar in the top left hand corner and we're going to select place. And we're going to go into our H drive, first initial last name 000, and we're going to go get our main platform and click open. Click once to place your main platform. And when you move your mouse, there's going to be another one connected to it. Press the escape key on the keyboard to let go of that. Our main platform is pretty zoomed in, so we're going to zoom this out just a little bit so that we give ourselves some working room in order to put the poles around here as well. Just like every other assembly we created, that first piece we're going to take and ground it. So over here in our model browser on the left hand side, where you see main platform, we're going to click on the blue icon. That's a right click on the blue icon with your middle finger on the mouse, and we're going to go down to grounded. About three quarters of the way down right here is where grounded is. For a double check, you can make sure that that main platform is grounded. When you look at the icon over here in the model browser, you can see there's a little push pin in there, and that means that it's grounded. Okay, next, let's go get our main poles. Go to our H drive, place, and we're going to go find our main poles. We need one for each of the holes here, so we're going to end up placing four of these. And we're going to get them kind of close to where they belong. Okay, that one's inside. Let's press escape. And these main poles we can still move if we need to. Okay, so that can be placed anywhere which you would like. Then we're going to constrain. Okay, we're going to use that insert command again which we're familiar with. And then we're going to also choose the aligned option that's here. The button on the right hand side if your mouse hovers over it it's going to pop up as aligned. Okay? And here we're going to take and we're going to click our pole and we want to have the pole with the arrow pointing up. If you're too far down on that pole, it's going to have the red arrow pointing down. So let's make sure that that red arrow is pointing up and we're going to go to the hole in the main platform. Make sure you click apply after each one. Once again, go to the next pole. We want that red arrow pointing up. If you're too far down on it, it's going to point down, so red arrow pointing up, and the hole as well. And let's move on to the next one, making sure we click apply after each one. Okay, now that we have our main platform put together, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be the tri-platform that's right here. So let's take a look at how to do that. We're going to place again. And we're going to go into our H drive and find our tri-platform and select open. Okay, when this comes in, you can see it's kind of at a different position as this one that's right here. So we have to be kind of cautious about where we put the poles as we're putting them in. So let's take a look. We have the long side that has the angle on it when the two short sides here, that's over into the back. So this is the one here that takes the long pole. The other two have the short pole. Let's see if we can figure out which one is there. So this one right here is going to be for the long hole, and these two are going to be for the short holes, poles. So let's place. And let's go get the long pole. Click open. And we're going to place that near where it needs to be. Press the escape key. And let's click place again. And let's go find our short pole in our H drive. And we're going to need two of those. These also are going to be a constraint. So let's go up to the ribbon bar in the top. Click Constrain. And we're going to do an Insert and Aligned. And let's start with the long pole first. 
Remember, we want the red arrow pointing up on this. If you're too far down, the arrow is going to point the opposite way. Red arrow pointing up, and this one is going to go into this hole here. Click Apply. And we're going to do the same thing to the short poles as well. Okay? Now, let's take a look at where this goal is on the main platform. Referencing your drawing, we can see that this back pole is going to line up on top of the main platform, which is stacked on top of that pole right here. So that's what we're going to start off with first. And this is going to be an insert opposed, as you can see on our drawing that I'm showing you now. Once again, let's get our constraint window open. We're going to do insert, and we want to have opposed, which is the option that's on the left-hand side opposed and we want this pole here to go to the top of this one on the main platform click apply press cancel kind of looks weird and it's not totally constrained yet but this one when we click on it we can move and we can see that once I have it sort of right here that that matches the position that it is in the actual drawing okay so this is where we want it now this is no good that it still moves so we're going to have to take and put another constraint on here to make prevent that from moving. And that constraint, when we reference our drawing, is going to be an angled constraint. It's going to be directed and 180 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that. So we're going to do a constraint. I want it angled, which is right here, the second button in from the left-hand side. And I want to have a directed angle, which is the first option on the left. Okay, and what do I want directed? When I take a close look at my drawing, when I take a quick close look at my assembly, I want to have this surface of my main platform directly constrained to this surface of my tri-platform. Okay, so let's start with that. I have my angled selected, I have directed selected, and now I'm going to zoom in and get the side of the main platform and I'm going to zoom in and get this side of my tri-platform. Now, kind of looks like something went weird but everything was in good shape right now. Right now you are at zero degrees and now we need to enter in a value to get this to be rotated to the proper angle. So right here where it says angle we're going to take and highlight that and we're going to enter in a value of 180 degrees. And when we do that, you can see that it positions it in the correct spot. Let's click Apply. And let's close this out. Okay. The main platform assembly is done. Everything looks fantastic here. Nice job. Let's go up and save this part. So we're going to go to File, down to Save As. Make sure that we're in our H drive, first initial, last name, 000. And assembly 2 just won't do for us today. We're going to take and change that name to platform assembly. Okay, so we're in our H drive. We have platform assembly for our file name. And let's click Save. Nice job. We're going to start putting our playground together in the next video. So I'll see you over there on the next one. Nice job on the main platform.